What is a mixed cost? You know that a variable cost is a cost that changes when the level of activity changes. If the level of activity goes up, the total variable cost will go up. If the level of activity goes down, the total variable cost will go down. You've likely already seen a variable cost graph. It's one where the straight line is increasing as the level of activity increases. We also know from this graph that the formula to calculate total variable costs is as follows. Total variable cost is equal to variable cost per unit multiplied by the level of activity. A fixed cost is a cost that does not change with the level of activity. Total fixed costs stay the same if the level of activity goes up or down. And you've likely seen a fixed cost graph, a horizontal straight line that does not change with the level of activity. Well, as long as we're within the relevant range. Finally, we have a formula for total fixed costs. Total fixed costs equals fixed costs. That seems stupid to say, but it clearly shows that fixed costs don't change with the level of activity. What if we added these two costs together? We would then have a mixed cost. A mixed cost, sometimes called a semi-variable cost, is a cost which has both a variable component and a fixed component. The formula for a mixed cost is as follows. Total mixed cost is equal to bracket variable cost per unit multiplied by the level of activity closing bracket plus fixed cost. Notice something? This is the variable cost formula plus the fixed cost formula added together. Let's look at an example. Josephine Inc. produces a product that uses gold. For each product, the company needs one gram of gold. The cost of gold is $75 per gram. In addition, the company pays $9,000 per month to rent the factory space they use to produce their product. We can use our mixed cost formula to calculate the cost at different levels of activity. Remember the formula is total mixed cost equal to bracket variable cost per unit multiplied by the level of activity, close bracket, plus fixed costs. So, at zero units, the total mixed cost is equal to zero multiplied by $75 per unit plus 9,000, which is equal to 9,000. At the level of activity of zero, the total costs are $9,000. Now let's produce one unit. Total mixed cost is equal to one unit multiplied by $75 plus $9,000, which is a total of $9,075. Let's produce two units. Total mixed cost is $75 per unit multiplied by two plus $9,000, which is $9,150. Now let's jump up and produce 50 and 100 units. Total mixed cost for 50 units equals 50 multiplied by $75 per unit plus $9,000 which equals $12,750. For 100 units, we take 100, multiply it by $75 per unit, add in $9,000, and get a total of $16,500. How would we graph this? On this graph, we have the y-axis as the total cost, and the x-axis as the level of activity, which in this case is the number of units the company produces. Now, at zero units, remember that the total mixed cost was equal to $9,000 in our chart, and that is exactly what it shows here on the graph. In fact, we can see that this total mixed cost line is almost identical to the variable cost line, except that the intercept with the y-axis is at the amount of the fixed costs, $9,000. If we analyze the graph, if we analyze the graph, at one level of activity, we can even see the mixed cost formula. For instance, if we look at producing 60 units, we can see that the space from the x-axis to the total fixed cost is equal to the total fixed cost, which is $9,000. We can also see that the space from the fixed cost point to the total mixed cost line is equal to the total variable costs. For 60 units, that would be 60 multiplied by $75, which is $4,500. The total mixed costs is therefore $9,000 of fixed costs plus $4,500 of variable costs for a total mixed cost of $13,500.
That's a mixed cost. Okay, let's recap. A mixed cost, sometimes called a semi-variable cost, is a cost which has both a variable cost component and a fixed cost component. The formula for a mixed cost is total mixed costs are equal to bracket variable cost per unit multiplied by the level of activity close bracket plus fixed costs. And the graph of a mixed cost shows a line which intercepts the y axis at the total fixed costs. Great. So what's the problem with mixed costs? If we know a cost is mixed, but we don't know what the mix is, how much is variable, how much is fixed, then how do we predict costs at different levels of activity? Well, we can't. But why is this a problem? Because one of the main functions of management is planning, and in order to plan, we have to be able to determine how costs will change if there are changes in the level of activity. If mixed costs are given to us as a total, because they are a mix of variable and fixed costs, they can't be predicted. So what do we need to do? We have to find a way to separate out the variable and fixed component. But we'll address that conundrum in another video. Thanks so much for watching.